Hi guys, welcome back. I hope everyone must be aware of the syllabus change for NATA 2021, which now does not include any drawing paper whatsoever and now includes only MCQ, MSQ, PTQ and NAQ questions. In the next video, we will look into the decoding of the syllabus. But for now, let's continue with MCQ type questions in which there will be three diagrams with top, front and side view and we have to choose the right view of the given diagram like in this case the option D has the curve shown in the top view further let's check with the front and the side view and like shown the option D is the right answer next again starting with the top view uh, in this case, all the four cases have the same kind of top view. So for the checking the front and the side view, as you can see, only option A and C has the gap in the front view. For the checking the side view, only option A has the gap in the side view. Hence, option A is the right answer. Next, starting with the top, only option A and B have similar surfaces. Further, checking the front side, only option B qualifies for the front view. Cross-checking with the side, the answer is option B. Next, starting with the top view, only option A and D have the boxes at the top. Further, checking the front and the side view, the correct answer is option D with keeping the orientation right. Next question, starting with the top view, I think it is pretty much clear that option A is already the right answer but let's cross check with the front and the side view. With this, the right answer is option A. Moving on, with the top view, I think option A and option C qualifies but cross-checking with the side and the front view so this edge from the front view leaves us with the right answer that is option a question number eight looking at the top view i think option a and d qualifies but the line which divides the square into half is in option d cross-checking with the front and the side view the right answer is option d next looking at the top view I think only option B have equal number of rectangles at both the sides. Also checking with the front and the side view, option B is the right answer. Some of the questions will be quite tricky, but if you go in the sequence of top, front and side, I think it will be pretty much clear. Question number 10. Looking at the top view, there is no top view which is similar but there is a view which is rotated and qualifies for the top view. Cross checking with the front and the side, the right answer is option C. Next, starting with the top view, only option B and C qualifies for the same but in the front view, there is a square right in the center. Hence, the right answer is option B. Just similar like the last question. Moving on, starting with the top view, only option A and option C qualifies for the same. Further checking the front view, uh, which has a circle right in the center and a L-like surface at the side, the right answer is option A. Moving on, this one is slightly confusing, but starting with the top view, I think only option A qualifies for the top. Cross-checking with the front and the side, the right answer is option A. Next, starting with the top view, there is a eye surface which is present in option A, B and D. Further clarifying with the front and the side view. We would be clearly confused of it to be option B but the right answer is option A because the object is rotated and the side front and the top view is at the rotated angle. Moving on to the next question, starting with the top again, option A does not qualify 
with the T surface at the top, clarifying with the front and the side right and hence the answer is option C. Okay, further, let's look into the same questions in the reverse manner that is, there will be a view given and you will have top, side and front view as your options. So in this case, there is a arrow marked at the left hand side and we have to select the option for the left elevation. So in this type, observe the lines of the object. Like in option D, there is a puncture at the right hand side. And the right answer is option D. Next, again we look into the side elevation of the object and with the triangle at the top, the right answer is option D. Moving on to the next question, here we look into the right hand elevation of the object and you can see a rotated T and only option B has it. So the right answer is option B. Next question, we again look into the right hand elevation and there are two small squares at the side which are intersecting and hence the right answer is option A. Next question, in this case we have a slant line which is punctured in the between and hence the right answer is option D. In this case, we are looking into the right hand elevation and only option C has the slant line at the left hand side upper corner and hence the right answer is option C. Next, again we look into the right hand elevation. In this case, uh, there is a slant line at the right hand side and there is a box at the bottom and only option C has it. So the right answer is option C. Next, we look into the left hand elevation. There are two boxes at the bottom, similar edges at both the hands and there is a square in between. Hence, the right answer is option B. Again, in this case, there are a lot of punctures, but once you take it into 2D elevation, you will get the right answer to be D because there is a small square at the top and a bigger square at the bottom left hand side. Next, there are two squares on a surface whereas the lower square is slightly shifted and the upper square is intact and hence the right answer is option A. Moving on to the next and the last question, we clearly see a edge with no edge or any line at the top and hence the right answer is option A. Here we come to the end of the video. We'll be looking into more such MCQ, MSQ, PTQ and NAQ questions in the further videos. So make sure you subscribe and like this video. See you. Bye.